We're going to start off two introductions and then we'll move on with the sentences and paragraphs. Okay. Uh, I'm Firuza. Uh, right now I'm living in Kyiv, but I'm from Uzbekistan. And there is in Uzbekistan a uh, country, uh, Karakalpakstan. Uh, it's this language is similar to Kazakh uh, language, but like still there, there are different like uh, pronunciation. I decided to text you about it, and uh, because I didn't see before this language in your YouTube channel, so mm, yes, for sure. No, this is great because it's like I said, it's a language that we never had in any of the videos before. So I think it's going to be very, very exciting and interesting. Hi, my name is Botuan. Uh, I am from Turkey. I speak Turkish. Uh, right now, in live in New Jersey, United States. Uh, but I grew up, I was raised in Turkey. So uh, today I'm going to be joining as the Turkish native speaker, which you've play, like, given a place in your channel multiple times. But I'm really excited to... This is my first encounter with someone who speaks Karakalpak as well. So I'm very excited about that. So. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Perfect. Thank you so much. So the way this is going to work for, for the audience, I just want to say, we're going to do uh, a very, I would say, a more simple sentence uh, for the first part. And then we do something that's a little bit more challenging. OK. OK. So uh, Farza, when you're ready, you can go ahead and read your first one. Um, wow. Can I get that again? Uh, slowly. Yes. Okay. Okay. I think I heard something like "umurboyu," which means like lifelong. Yes. Is that right? Okay. Korkup. Umur. Okay. Boya. Kaskardan korkup jasaide. Brak wona shopanjide. Hmm. Chopanjide, that doesn't sound familiar, but is it like Ömür uh, the fear of, like, lifelong fear of something? Ömür it's, yes, it's mm, true. Okay. Koi, can you get the word koi? Koi sounds like koi, which means village, but I'm not sure if it's very, yeah, if it's like that. Koi. Hmm. No, I don't have any ideas. Okay, uh, then do I have to translate, Bahadur? Or? Sure. You, can, you can maybe give a hint on what it is. Uh, think about, uh, like, think of an animal and, because I think the word is, is very close in Turkish. Yeah. See, you know how you said village, right? Mm -hmm. uh, think about an animal that maybe you'll find uh, in, a, in, in, village? Um, in, in the village, right? And, a kuyun. Could it be kuyun? Like sheep? Yes. yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Kuyun. What was the second word? Just word by word. But... Umur boyu. Umur boyu. Okay. Kuyun. Umur boyu. Kaskırdan. Kaskırdan. It's animal too. Oh, okay. Kaskırdan. Kuyun. Umur boyu. Kaskırdan. Korkup jasaydı. Uh, Kaskar, could it be something like a wolf? Yes, exactly. Okay, <laughs> okay so Chopin, the last word, I have no idea. Chopin or? Chopin, yeah. It's I, like... You use that in uh, Turkish as well. It's just, just a little different. Ha, Choban, okay, Choban. You, you got it now. <laughs> yeah, Choban. Choban means shepherd, yes. Yes, exactly. So I think you can get the whole sentence now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, okay. Koyun ömür boyu kurttan korkusundan çobana... Okay, it's like sheep's lifelong fear of wolves. Kind of... Mm, but... But shepherds? Uh, yeah, I'm not going to get that middle part because it's kind of like a movement thing. I can translate. Yeah. Yes. Okay. 
so the first you were like right it means like sheep uh the whole life uh, scares from wolf but uh uh shepherd will eat, eat him ah okay yeah, it's like, uh, so first okay. of all, that's actually a very nice saying uh, even <laughs> yes. though they're, yeah yeah that's actually very nice very smart for a lot of a lot of countries that actually yeah i think we all have this uh, phrase like something uh, similar maybe yes mm -hmm. yeah so hmm. i even didn't translate it for you bahadur you you got it by yourself right it, it means i i sort of just you know i was able to pick up some of the words as well yeah uh, obviously figured out the sheep and the beer and then the, the shepherd so i thought initially the sheep is afraid of the wolf but then the shepherd will protect the sheep from the wolf, right? The last part That's I, what I, I thought too, yeah. Because I uh, did not eat. Uh, what, what, did it, what was the word that uh, you eat, mentioned? Like, Jide. 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 Sorry? Jide. Jide. It's like, mm. we'll eat. Okay, uh, Jide. Yeah, it's even the meaning of this phrase. It's like, um, you know, sometimes we are afraid of some people, but we don't even think about others so exactly. like we can be wrong so no, yes yeah. it's it's a very meaningful expression for sure <laughs> it is yüzyıllar yeah. boyunca kervan yolları üzerinde önemli bir durak olan ığdır doğu anadolu'nun büyük bir ovasıdır okay so, i didn't get any words so can you make it sure, yeah so the first word is yüzyıllar Use yıllar. I know. Use yıllar, it's uh, 100, 100 years. Exactly, a century. Use yıllar boyunca kervan yolları üzerinde I... önemli bir... Uh, okay. Bu, boyunca? Boyunca. Boyunca. Uh, like uh, since 100 years? Yes, exactly. Okay. Okay. Kervan, kervan yolları. Uh, I know what does it mean, yolları. It's like uh, the, the road, but kar, karman, I, I think kervan. Kervan. It is not a Turkish word. I'm I'm guessing it could be a Parsi word. Might it be is, an Arabic and one. And used in English as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Kervan? Kervan, yeah. Kervan, yeah, kervan. Kervan yolları üzerinde önemli bir durak olan okay kervan yolları üzerinde 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 it's üzerinde it's the two words right üzerinde no it's actually together it's one word but it is uh, there are a lot of um add add addings uh, suffixes at the end like the root is not üzer you know it's uh, okay Okay, can you the second one just uh, read it again, please? Kervan yolları üzerinde önemli bir bak. Am I right? If it's durak, it's uh, bus stop. Stop. Any kind of station. Yes. Stop. Yeah. But it's one. Mm -hmm. But on on önemli. Did you say önemli? Önemli. Evet. Yes. But onamne, it's in my language, it's like mother. Ona. Oh, I see. No. No. I, I don't this... know the onamne in before this word. Do you have a word like what does onam mean to you? Onam. No. Nothing. Önem. Nothing. Okay, önem. that is that might be a little you know like some kind of new, new Turkish modern Turkish word. Onamne means important. Ah, okay. Önem is importance. Önemli is, you know, important. It, okay. It's not the same in English, but you get the idea. Okay, so, since since hundred years. Mm -hmm. Caravan. Yolları. Uh, üzerinde. Caravan. The road of caravan. On the road of caravan. Uh, on the road of caravan. Yeah. Üzer, Önemli bir durak. Ah, uh, like. There are important uh, stops. The important stop, yeah. 
Yeah, üzerinde it means like there are, yeah. right? Yeah, kind of. I'm talking about a city here in Turkey, in the easternmost po point of Turkey. is uh, called It's called Irdir. So I'm talking about that city. Okay. Uh, Yüzyıllar boyunca kervan yolları üzerinde önemli bir durak olan. Ah, yeah. yeah. In my language, bolma. Yeah, got it. Ee, Irdır, Doğu Anadolu'nun büyük bir ovasıdır. Doğu Anadolu. Again, please, can come again. Doğu Anadolu. It's the name of the peninsula. Of Turkey, where Turkey is Anadolu. That name, the name of the whole peninsula is called Anadolu. Anatolia, right? Anatolia, yes. In English, it's Anatolia. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. I have never heard about that. How it's gonna be the Turkish version of Anatolia? Okay. Yeah. Now I get yeah. it. Okay. Anatolia is the Greek uh, origin word. Uh, Anadolu is just you know Turkified. Uh, okay. Do Anadolu'nun büyük bir ovasıdır. Büyük bir ovasıdır. Huge. Büyük, yes, big. Okay. Yeah, huge, big, büyük. Doğu Anadolu'nun büyük bir ovasıdır. The root here is ova. Ova is a land shape. Landscape. It just says uh, it's a big uh, plateau. Hmm. Ova, Ova is plateau. Hmm. So that's a lands, landscape uh, name. So it's a big plateau of Anatolia. Okay. <laughs> the word do is one of the cardinal ways. It's it's east. Just do it. Uh, these two uh, letters, it's east? No, it's four letters. It's D O. Soft G and oh, U. Okay. Okay. Yeah, she got like uh, almost every uh, every word except for üzerinde caravan and do. Basically, but I couldn't I couldn't connect this <laughs> to the sentence. If you, sense, it, if you saw it, I'm sure you could. You could. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so now we're gonna do Firza's uh, second one. Okay. Bakhud bul azanda kuanib jumska barganin al kishte kuanib ige kaytkanin. Okay, um, uh, okay, yeah, that was that sounded beautiful, but I will have you to, I will need you to go a little slower than that. Yeah, okay. Bahut bul azanda kuanib jumska barganan, al kishte kuanib uge kaitkanan. So, bahur sounds like bakur, which means copper. No, bahut, 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 bahut. Hmm. Is it Even we have like this, we have the name like this. I think uh, maybe you have to in Twitter. I'm not sure. Bakhut. Bakhut. Maybe could it be Bakhut? Like chance? Yeah. No, 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 no. no? Okay. Let me maybe yeah, make cool. two parts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I will read again the whole the slowly, first part. Every word. Slowly. So okay. I, I can get out, like make out the letters of it. Okay. Bahut bul azanda kuanip jumska barganan. Bahutta. Bahutta is like, okay, maybe I'm just spitballing here. Could it be like seeing? Is, has it something to do with to see? No. no? Okay. Maybe it's going to be easier for you to get the other words. Yeah, maybe. yeah, let's try that. Let's try them, yes. Bahut uh, bul azanda. Bakhut bul azanda. Bul is bul is like is it find or is it this? It's like it is. Ah, okay. Be, yeah. Uh, azanda kuanıp jumska barganın. Azanda kuarıp kuanıp kuanıp jumska barganın. Hmm. This one is harder. Okay. <laughs> the words don't sound familiar at all. Like azanda, bakhta, bul, azanda. Okay, bakhta. It must be a noun then. Yeah. Uh, bul, azanda. 
uh, some like is something like Bahut is uh, happiness. Okay, okay, we don't have that, but yes, great. I understand it now. Mutlu would be happy. Happiness would be mutlu look. Okay, so the happiness is uh, when um, you go. Okay. Bu. Azanda in the morning. Azanda in the morning. Yeah. Happiness in the morning. Happiness is. No. Uh, so yeah, sabah olunca mutluluk gibi bir şey. It's like when it's morning in the morning. No, no, no. It's like mm. like happiness is something in the morning. Mm. And al kishte is in the evening. Okay, that is I, I, I will trans I will translate you one word, Kwanap Kwanap, it's like uh, with pleasure. Hmm. Like you do something with pleasure, like you, you want it, you like it. I see. Well, it is coming piece by piece as you explain them. It is coming to me, but uh, I gotta say, well, from a completely like uh, scientific point of view, none of these words sound familiar to me. Oh. And those words definitely are not the words that we would use in this sentence, for example. So, Bahad bul azanda kuanab jumska barganan al kishte kuanab uge kaitkanan. It's the phrase too, like would mean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna get that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> but yeah, yeah I no. Think, I think this one you just have you just have to. Uh... Translated. I, uh, some of the words are definitely completely different. Uh, they're not. Yeah. Uh, sometimes words will share root and sound very different, but sometimes they're just totally different. So, so uh, the happiness is when uh, you go to work with pleasure, mm -hmm. and you come back to home with pleasure. I see. What? Well, how do you say work? Work to work. Jumska. Work. Yeah, ah, is like two. Ah, wow. Yeah, I understand. It's a great, yeah, it's another nice saying. For sure. Okay. Yeah, no, that was, because I think well, in yeah. Turkish, yeah, the word for work is different as well. So it's, uh, yeah. It flew no, right it, over my head. I think so. The first one, the first one, obviously was a lot easier, and this was supposed to be more challenging. So um, now I'm scared so... more. <laughs> <laughs> so Feriza, uh, ready for the second sentence? Yes. <laughs> okay. This will be a little longer, so I will again go slowly. Meyve bahçeleri, pamuk tarlaları, yamaçlardaki kır çiçekleri ve yaylalara hayat veren Aras nehrinin suladığı ovada. Okay. This is the first part of the sentence. Let's go one by one if you want. But uh, this is the whole sentence, or this is the first part of the sentence. This is a two-part sentence again. This is the Can first I, part. First, uh, the second part. I, I want to hear the second part too. I'll read the whole thing then. Yeah. <laughs> Meyve bahçeleri, pamuk tarlaları, yamaçlardaki kır çiçekleri ve yaylalara hayat veren. Aras Nehri'nin suladığı ovada kayısı, elma, şeker pancarı, pamuk, kabun, karpuz, domates yetiştirilir. You know what I got it? Kabun, karpuz. <laughs> exactly. I knew you would get them. What, watermelon, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, so, again, let's start from, again, from the beginning, if you want. Yeah. Meyve bahçeleri. Does that sound familiar? Meyve? Exactly. It's, uh, fruits, right? Exactly. Bahçe. Okay. Bahçe, it's a sad uh, garden. Exactly. Meyve bahçeleri would okay. be fruit gardens. Wait, wait uh, after bahçe. Liri. Uh, bahçeleri. No. This is, I got it, after mm -hmm. this. Pamuk tarlaları. Pamuk tarlaları. Oh. Pamuk tarlar, tarlar. Pamuk, I don't know. Pamuk. Hmm. Okay. Pamuk, um, if you, it's really not familiar to you at all, it's uh, cotton. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, in my language, it's pakta. Hmm. So okay. that's a different one. That's a different word. 
yeah but do, do i now uh, i'm kind of confused because uh like garden of fruits and why there is cotton yeah did, did i get the word wrong or right <laughs> <laughs> no. it's a different word maybe but it sounded familiar right pamuk tarlaları do you know what that is tarla no tarla. okay fields cotton fields. field yeah oh okay pamuk tarlaları yamaçlardaki kır çiçekleri yamaçlardaki kır çiçekleri kır çiçekleri yamaçlardaki no idea yamaç no 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 um hillside no the hillside no there is a hill and there is a side of it okay that's called the yamaç hillside okay yamaç. oh kır kır çiçekleri kır çiçekleri çiçek Does, is that familiar çiçek no 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 hmm. kır çiçekleri is like uh kır is actually like a meadow but in english translation kır çiçekleri would be uh, wild flowers flowers okay. that, that are just like that just grows on you know like by themselves in meadows and whatever okay wild flowers kır çiçekleri ve yaylalara hayat veren you said va it's like uh, e and no ve and yeah it's and yes i don't know oh, okay. <laughs> how do you say it in karakalpak uh ham we can hmm. say va too and ham oh ah, interesting okay we say janie like we have different ways it depends, mm-hmm. you know. Anasan. Okay. Ee, yamaçlardaki kır çiçekleri ve yaylalara hayat veren Aras Nehri'nin suladığı ovadak <gülüyor> yama yaylalara hayat veren. Ee, hayat I got it, but y- yarma yayla. Yayla. Uh, yayla. I, I feel like I know this word, but you know, hayat it's uh, life, right? Exactly. Veren, vermek. Veren. No, 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 no. V- vermek it's verb. Yes. But. Mm-mm. What is it? No. What is that word? What is that word for you? Vermek. Vermek. Can you uh, come again since va? Ve yaylalara hayat veren. It's, Yayla is place, right? It's it's uh, it's uh, like highlands. Okay. Highlands. It's like um, settlements, small settlements on on high, like uh, on mountains. O- okay. They are called yayla highlands. Okay. Yaylalara hayat veren. Hayat veren. This the last word. Vermek, I didn't know. Okay, to give. Ah, Vermek, okay. Vermek. Yeah. It means almost it? the same. You say Vermek, we say Vermek. Vermek. <laughs> okay, but yeah. I was like, yeah, okay, now I got it. This word, yeah. okay. Yaylalara hayat veren Aras Nehri'nin e, suladığı ovada Aras, Aras Nehri Ar, ar, aras meynen? Aras nehri. Nehir. 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 A, you know aras. aras? Where is Aras? Aras, Aras. No, I think I don't know what this means. Aras is a is a big uh, river from... Uh, ah, think... ah, okay. <laughs> I was yeah, thinking about the words now. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, no. It's a name. It's a name. It's like Anatoly. Yeah. Anatoly, you said. I was like, what does it mean? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that that was a that was a name. Yeah, that was. A, I mean, it wouldn't be translated. It's it's probably the same in in Karakalpak as well because it's a name of the it's the international name of that. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. But I mean, yeah. like, I I thought it's kind of the yeah. word. Yeah, okay. Interview. Okay. So Nehir, do you know the word Nehir? Nehir, it's uh, river. River. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, ve yaylalara hayat veren Aras Nehri'nin suladığı ovada 
suladığı ovada sulamak. Sulamak. Uh, is it is it water? Exactly. Su, right? It's water su. Exactly. Yes. Okay. So now uh, after nehir, what we have? Uh, Aras nehrinin suladığı ovada. We said the ova. We we've been on that before. Like the first sentence, I said ova was plateau. You didn't get that word. Remember, it's plateau. Ova. Okay. So. Aras Nehri'nin suladığı ovada. But uh, you have suladığı two, two times, right? This word you said now. One word. Suladığı is one word. Sulamak. Sulamak. Yes, suladığı and you said sulamak. Yeah, I know. I said suladığı ovada. Suladığı ovada, suladığı. 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 So it's war. So yeah. that, it, it means from water, the verb, right? Kind of. Exactly. To water. To water to... something. To water something. Oh. You, you, know, you water. You water the flowers. So it's sulamak. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Ladu over that. Okay. Now we are coming to some uh, fruits and vegetable names. Kayısı. Kayısı. Do you know that word? Kayısı. That's a fruit. Is it? It could be Kaisi as well. It, it, it is. It is pronounced Kaisi in like rural areas in Turkey. Kaisi. Kaisi. No, no, I don't know. It's apricots. Okay. Elma. I'm sure you know that Elma. Elma. I know Alma. Exactly. It's, it's apple, everywhere. right? It's apple. apple. It's elma everywhere. I know. Okay. <laughs> şeker, şeker, pancarı. Sugar. Sugar. What the? Pancar. Pancar. The pancar is fruit. You mean too, right? Pancar is a vegetable. It's a root vegetable that grows under the earth, like in dirt. Like everywhere we have, or it's like kind of exotic. No, no, no. It's definitely everywhere we have. It's şeker pancarı means sugar beets. Okay. Uh, Pamuk, kabun, karpuz, domates yetiştirilir. Tomates, it's uh, tomato. Yes, yetiştirilir. That's the last word. Yetiştirilir. Yetiştirilir. It's not eating. It's uh, bringing. Yeah, growing. Exactly. Gro growing. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yetiştirmek. Okay is the root yetiştirilir is general like uh, just how do you say it uh, a, a tense okay I don't, know, I don't know which tense was it so that's the end of it do you okay i'll just read the whole sentence again and tell me what you understand I meyve, try bahçeleri, <laughs> meyve bahçeleri pamuk tarlaları yamaçlardaki kır çiçekleri ve yaylalara hayat veren aras nehrinin suladığı ovada Kayısı, elma, şeker pancarı, pamuk, kabun, karpuz, domates yetiştirilir. Okay, now I have the same uh, problem which, with the first phrase. <gülüyor> like, uh, I forgot, sorry, I forgot the kırık çiçekleri, this one. Kırık çiçekleri, wild yeah, flowers. Yeah, uh, wild flowers. It's like you are saying, you know, like uh, garden, of, uh, garden of fruits and... <gülüyor> Mm -hmm. Cotton, um... comma, yeah, fruit gardens. Comma. Yeah, yeah. Now I got it. Okay. Cotton fields, comma. Yamaçlardaki kır çiçekleri. This is from a book, you know, and it's it's a there's this a little bit of poetic explanation, so it is making it a little bit ha hard to understand as well. The sentences are kind of long and connected, so that that is another thing. But you got the most of the sentence, at least like the gist of it. That As always, I got it partly, you know, just words mm -hmm. and I mm -hmm. can't make it mm -hmm. connect, like I can't connect it. So can you, by yourself, tell Should the whole, whole phrase? In English? Okay. Yeah. Apricots, apple, sugar beet, cotton, melon, watermelon, and tomatoes are grown on the plains watered by the Aras River that gives life to wild flowers on the hillsides, highlands, um, cotton fields, and fruit gardens. Okay, now I get it. Yeah. 
<laughs> because Turkish, as you know, uh, our language is exactly the opposite of English, like grammatically. So you have in English, I said from exactly the end, yeah, backwards. I, I get it. The only way, yeah. So that's why the words are like misplaced. But you understand what I mean. Yeah, yeah I got it. So that was the sentence. Yes. Great. Um, <laughs> anyways, for this video, uh, Balkan Jewelry sent us this. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. And uh, yeah, so uh, they make uh, they make very nice all all types of jewelry, but they made they sent this one for this video, and it's a uh, map of Turkey in case yeah you couldn't really tell. I, I guess you you realize it is right? very accurate. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's it's very nice. Very nice. So yeah, uh, yeah. They 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 make uh, all types of jewelry, and uh, they just sent us this for this specific video. So I just wanted to show that to you guys. Um, and yeah, for me, this was really, really wonderful. Once again, like when I hear different Turkic languages, it's always interesting for me because I feel like in every sentence, I can pick up one word at least, right? One word, yeah. So, There's so yeah. many Parsi words in Turkish. Yeah, yeah. And I know, I know uh, some Turkish, like vocabulary wise, mm -hmm. I understand some Turkish as well. So By now, yes. yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's always interesting because I try to like, you know, put the pieces together and figure mm -hmm. out what's going on. So it was very well, cool for me. So Father, I'm, thank you. I'm very, I really appreciate the, the chance to be here because I really do watch and like, like this, uh, your channel a lot. And I, I think you're doing a really nice, good job of uh, doing it. So uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For having thank me. you. I, I appreciate that. Thanks a lot. And Feruza, it was very nice to meet you. Uh, you given thank me something you. that I've had for the first time in my life. <laughs> A chance to speak to someone who speaks Karakalpak, which is, it's a shame that we are not just more together as Turkic nations. You know, like we, we have so much to actually talk about and like do this. Uh, I hope this channel is just like uh, enables that for everybody. So I'm so happy to be here now, right now with you guys. And it's like a good experience in my life. Even some, I got it that like many words, I don't know, in my oh, language. That's, that's, <laughs> and yeah. Uh, I like the what you are doing, Bahadur, because it's in our life, you know, now we are kind of not everything is not stabilish. So we are like uh, looking for something common between us. Like we all like, uh, yeah, we are not um, uh, looking for difference that you look different. I look different. No, we are looking for common and like we are. Um, more close each other so like it makes uh, i think uh, at least it makes me personally happy so like i yeah, can that's... feel myself that uh i mean i'm in part of this world you know i'm not like just so i'm so happy and appreciate that i i think it was it was good i hope so yeah. no it was it was excellent no thank you thank you and, and what you said i i completely agree i mean the whole point of this channel is to show that no matter where we're from or what our background is, we all yes. have something in common and yes. we just try to focus on the things that we share. And sometimes there are things that are different, but we learn from each other and it brings us closer together. So it's really, it really great. I'm, I'm happy to hear. Yeah, yeah sure. it's uh, like one, one word, what I, uh, you know, uh, I think we don't have to forget our like uh, motherland language because let's say now I'm not in my country, I'm here. You are in different country. It doesn't mean that you have to just speak in your your motherland language. No, it means you don't have to forget where, where you are from, because mm. I think it's important too. Be, uh, nowadays we all speak in English, we all speak in Russian, but even like sometimes when you wanna think about your language, you don't even know. So it's kind of a challenge for yourself to to think about it and to maybe to think uh, to speak with your family in your motherland language and to practice more and more and to know the words so thank you again this was really wonderful i appreciate it so much and you guys uh, have a great day and uh, a first evening. great <laughs> evening for you great yes. night <laughs> so, yeah it was it was really great it was great meeting you take both care, thank, thank you. you take care have Lisa. a good day bye take care. bye bye take care bye